Hi folks and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the Bat Chatelon 25 TAP, a tier 9 French medium tank, the one that isn't the AMX 30, and a tank that's quite a recent addition to the game and a recent addition to my garage because this uh, tank was introduced into the game in patch 9.15 to replace the Lorraine 40T. Uh, now I mentioned briefly during the Lorraine 40T Ace Tanker that that was a tank I bought simply to ace before it was removed from the game forever, but I mentioned during that video very briefly that I really wasn't looking forward to the batch at AP because it just felt like a downgrade from what we knew about the the uh, Batch at 25 TAP, it felt like a downgrade over the Lorraine in pretty much every single category. So I really, really wasn't looking forward to it, but um, you know, I said I'd play it as soon as it came out, and I did. This is actually my second game in the uh, Batch at AP, um, but uh, yeah, it wasn't a tank I was looking forward to, and I'll get into the stats in a moment, but because the first time, or this is the first time the tank is appearing on the channel, I might as well do a brief history, and it's going to be very, very brief because this tank never existed. Existed. Um, this is a uh, variant, it is a medium tank variant of the AMX-13 that was designed around 1950-1951 uh, and it never made it past the design phase, it never even made it into prototype stage but um, basically at that time, 1950-1951, early 1950s, the French tank development was uh, working towards fast, mobile, rapid deployment tanks with you know a lot of firepower, not much armor because armor was considered obsolete, mobility was considered more important, but um, these tanks needed to be light in order to be air transported, to be able to support paratroopers, to be able to be drop behind enemy lines. Uh, and while the AMX-13 was working towards that goal, um, there was a development maybe making a heavier version, a medium tank version of the AMX-13. And this was it. It was twice the weight. The AMX-13 weighed 13 tons, as you can probably guess from its name. This tank weighed 25 tons, batch at 25T. Uh, but uh, it uh, was considered too heavy. It was designed with a 90 millimeter uh, and an oscillating turret. But um, this 90 millimeter, there's no information as to whether or not the 90 millimeter was a single shot or whether it was going to be an autoloader. So the fact it's an autoloader in game, I'm I'm not quite sure how historically accurate that is. But as I say, there's there's a lot of flexibility for tag design because it only existed in design. So uh, basically, it's the same gun that came on the Lorraine 40T. Now, while the tank was never developed, it only was in plans. A lot of the design features that the uh, Batchat 25 TAP had were incorporated later into the uh, Batchat 25 T, the tier 10 tank we have in game, uh, and that was built in 1954. But when I eventually get onto that tank, I'll talk about that tank's history. But essentially, this tank never existed. It was just a design. But I mentioned the fact that I really, really wasn't looking forward to playing it um, during the Lorraine 40 TA's tanker, and this is why. So popping into Tanks to Jeep, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Bat Chatelon 25T and the Lorraine 40T, the tank it replaced. Uh, and this is why I wasn't looking forward to the tank. Uh, straight away, you can see it's got worse DPM. It's got worse DPM. It's basically got the same gun, but it's worse than the gun on the Lorraine 40T. And the gun on the Lorraine 40T was not amazing. So it's got worse DPM uh, because it's got a slower rate of fire. It's got a slower reload time. So it's got the same clip, same clip size. It's the same gun, but the reload, the reload is five seconds longer on the Batcha 25T. So uh, yeah, worse DPM. And not only does it have worse DPM, it also has worse ammo. It has 30 rounds compared to 48 in Lorraine 40T. So this is a tank, if you're having a big game, there's a very good chance you're going to run out of ammunition, a lot like you would in the tier 10 Batchat. So um, the gun, not looking good so far compared to the tank it replaced. When we look at the weapons handling, you can see the aim time is exactly the same. The accuracy is exactly the same. The uh, soft stats are slightly better. Uh, shooting on the move, shooting while turning the tank, shooting while turning the turret, shooting after firing. Those soft stats are slightly better, but they weren't stats we knew at the time I was first talking about this tank. So, uh, yep, yeah, the gun handling is a little bit better, but basically it's got the same aim time, same accuracy. It's got worse gun elevation. It's got worse gun depression. It's got six degrees of gun depression compared to eight degrees of gun depression. So, yeah, I mean, it's got worse DPM, worse reload, longer clip reload, worse 
gun depression, worst gun elevation, um, and it's got the same aim time and accuracy. Um, I really wasn't expecting very much from this tank at all. And it gets worse because when it comes to the movement, it gets five kilometers an hour faster top speed than the Lorraine 40T had. Um, you know, that's okay, that's okay, but the reverse speed is slower. You've got 20 kilometers an hour reverse speed and the Lorraine 40T at 23. The engine is worse. You had a, a 575 horsepower engine compared to a 980 horsepower engine. So therefore, even though it's a lighter tank, it gets it's a worse engine, and that means the horsepower to weight ratio is worse than it is a little rain 40T. Um, the terrain resistance, again, these figures were hidden when I first read about the tank, but the terrain resistance better than it is on the Lorraine 40T, but Lorraine 40T's terrain resistance is actually very, very good. Um, it gets worse turret traverse. It gets worse turret traverse by a huge margin. I mean, 33.3 isn't bad, but it's nowhere near 43.8, 44 degrees per second. Uh, the tank traverse is a bonus. Hey, we finally, finally have a big bonus for the tank. The tank turns better than the Lorraine 40T does. Um, but yeah, uh, the armor, worse. The armor is even worse. Lorraine 40T had no armor, but the Batchet AP has worse armor. Uh, the turret armor, better on the Lorraine than it is on the uh, Batchet AP. Um, you know, even small things like the engine health. The engine health is much, much worse than it is on the Lorraine 40T. So the engine gets knocked out much, much quicker on the Batchet AP. The ammo rack is also worse hit point wise. It gets knocked out quicker than it does on the Batchet AP, or uh, gets knocked out quicker on the Batchet AP. Um, when it comes down to other stuff, I mean, the view range is worse. It gets 380 meters of view range, which is terrible. This is a tier nine, and you've got 380 meters of view range compared to 400 on the Lorraine 40T. I would expect at least 390, possibly 400 on this tank being a tier nine, but nope, it doesn't have it. It's also got a higher chance of fire. I mean, it's also got a higher chance of fire. So when I was looking at these stats, I was going, how are people excited about this tag? It's 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 basically a worse Lorraine 40T in almost every aspect. I mean, everything about the tank is worse. The DPM is worse. The num uh, amount of ammo is worse. The gun handling is almost identical, but the elevation is worse. The gun depression is worse. The uh, reverse speed is worse. The horsepower to weight ratio is worse. It doesn't accelerate as well. Uh, the turret reverse is worse. The uh, hull armor, turret armor are both worse. Um, it's all worse. The view range is worse. So really, you know, when you're looking at the stats, this is, this is what my first impression of the Bad Chat 25T AP was. It's basically a replacing a Lorraine 40T, which wasn't a strong tank, but it's replacing a, a tank that isn't very strong as a tier nine with a tank that's even worse than the tank it's replacing. So yeah, I, I really wasn't looking forward to uh, playing this tank at all. However, I will put my hand up in the air and freely admit that I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong because while it is, and I will stand by that, it is worse than the Lorraine 40T in most aspects. Uh, the one aspect or the two aspects that uh, beat the Lorraine 40T, hands down, is the fact that the uh, Batchat AP is tiny. It is very, very small. I mean, it's not that small. You can see I'm playing with Tanza here and he's in his VK 4502B. It's a heavy tank. And you can see that, you know, the VK isn't that much bigger isn't that much bigger than the uh, Batchat AP. So, you know, it's not what you would consider a small tank, but compared to the Lorraine 40T, the Batchat AP is tiny. It really is. And because it's smaller, it means it's a harder target to hit. It also means that the camo rating is a lot better on this tank than it is on the Lorraine 40T. So really, I was expecting a tank that was worse than the Lorraine 40T, but you know, better camo and harder to hit, a uh, much smaller profile. So that's pretty much it. As, as I say, this is my second game in the tank. We're just going to go. Uh, we are here on cliffs. It's a tier 10 game. So um, five tier 10s either side. That's okay. And I'm just testing out the tank. As I say, second game. So I'm really feeling out the tank. I'm testing its uh, acceleration and I'm looking okay we've reached 65 kilometers an hour but we needed to go downhill and it definitely definitely doesn't feel as good as the Lorraine 40T regarding top speed and acceleration uh, even though technically it's faster the Lorraine 40T accelerates much much better but um, no RT in play which is why I'm taking this aggressive road up here get through the middle and uh, we're just advancing and we're going to see if we can do some spotting because this is almost even though it doesn't get camo rating on the move um, you know it's almost like an AMX 1390 it plays very very similarly to an AMX 1390 with a slightly better gun and worse camo but uh, first two shots in done some damage to an IS-3 happy with that IS-7 tier 10 bigger target and we get another shot in 
So yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. That blind shot, I think, went in as well. So we've hit four shots. We've got six shots in our magazine area, in our clip or our magazine. Uh, two shots left. Am I going to waste these on anyone looking for targets? Oh, I got spotted. And as I say, the camo rating, not, not as good on this tank than it is on an AMX, but much, much better than it is on the Lorraine 40T. But two shots left. Get one shot into the IS-7 and get one shot into the VK4502A. So yeah, uh, that first clip, every single shot, including that blind shot, landed. So a uh, very, very successful first clip. Uh, wouldn't be me without some fail as I drive into a rock and I'm relocating. So now I'm looking for shots into the middle while I'm on a reload. I'm relocating while I'm on a reload. Our, uh, it looks okay. Uh, the matchup looks okay. We're winning 2-1, but still 50-50. Um, and now I've decided to move back, so on a 45 second, although you can get it down to around 41 seconds with crew skills and equipment. Um, yeah, so the reload, much, much better than it is on the, uh, or much worse, I should say, than it is on the Lorraine 40T, but, you know, you can, you can still play it like a standard autoloader, relocate between reloads, just looking for victims here. Okay, we've got the side of the VK again, we get one shot in. Two shots in, someone else takes him out, so okay, we've landed eight shots already, eight penetrations, happy with this. But um, I'm looking at my ammo count and I'm thinking I've only got 22 shots left. I'm down to 22 shots. Uh, I do I do miss the ammo capacity of the, uh, definitely miss the ammo capacity of the Lorraine 40T, but two more shots in, we take out T-54, get a shot into the Skoda T-50. Two shots left in the clip, and I'm, you know, again, it's an autoloader, so I'm debating, do I reload, or do I relocate while I'm reloading, or do I look for a target, see if I can get these last two shots off, and I decide to hold the shots, aim, 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 and that shot goes way to the right, way to the right, we get one more in, so that's the first shot, that is the first shot we've actually missed in that game, or in the game so far, so... We're up to around 2,600 damage according to XVM. Quite a successful, quite a successful first trial of the tank. Uh, and as I say, I'm still testing it out. I could have been maybe, I don't know if I could have been a little bit more aggressive. You see our team Lemming train, uh, you know, we sent a lot of tanks up the one, two lines. We've still got two Ferdies sitting down in like J1. I mean, it's what as if they're, you know, they're not gonna have much involvement at least until enemy tanks move up. And I'm looking at the mini map and I'm seeing an E5 and an M103 in the south. And I'm wondering if I can get any shots up here on the camping TDs, camping E100 who hasn't left spawn as well. Uh, top tier heavy here, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I get spotted and okay, T57 heavy is a dangerous customer. If he comes around the corner, he's got an IS-7 with him. So there's a T57. IS-7. IS-7 sees me. He's aiming for me. He's looking for shots and I decide hey, I'm gonna get out of there. T-57 could come around that corner and destroy me. Absolutely destroy me. So do a little bit of ram damage to the Waffentrager. Come back to try and deal with the E-5. But um, that was a wasted trip because the E-5 now looks as if he's on a... Uh, he's retreating. Okay, so... Alright, full health E-5. He's going back to base and then the T-57 heavy advances so okay relocating wasn't a complete waste as long as I can get some shots on the T-57 heavy don't have much to shoot at here outlines aren't showing up because it's a replay bug but I don't have much to shoot at and we bounce side of a T-57 heavy and we bounce second shot goes high and wide uh, yeah okay we bounce we track and we bounce hey we finally did some damage and and we bounce <laughs> With one shot left in our clip. I mean, and we're out of regular AP. That's it. We're out of regular AP. This tank gets so little ammunition. But, um, yeah, okay, so there we go. While our first two clips were very, very successful and we landed pretty much every single shot bar one, that clip was an absolute disaster. We only did one damaging hit. Only got one damaging hit in the side of a T-57 Heavy. Uh, and basically bounced or missed all the others. So, uh, yeah, while I'm on a reload, I've decided to reload to premium ammo, APCR, because basically I can't get a full clip with just one round of AP left. So uh, we're going to hunt down the T110 E5, and I'm thinking, yeah, okay, the mobility of the tank, while it's not as good as Lorraine 40T, I definitely think it feels much, much more comfortable playing this tank, because it's basically a upgraded AMX-30. Uh, that's what it feels like. Uh, we get to the rear, and uh, yeah, we flank the T110E5, we go for the track shot. 
That way, if anyone else damages him, we're going to get some uh, going to get some XP and credits. So we're just putting shots in. He gets taken out. We've got two shots left. Tanza takes him out, actually. So um, yeah, I get the assistance damage from that as well as some of the damage. So we're up to 3.7k damage. Just two tanks left on the enemy team, and they were both camping spawn. We've got the Yag Tiger, we've got the E100. I'm firing premium ammunition now, but unfortunately, this is broken. I can't can't drag up the uh, penetration values anymore. Uh, so yeah, uh, oh, this patch still still not working perfectly. But bad shot on the side of his turret there. I should have gone for the engine. I don't know what I was thinking. Second shot does go into the engine, and now I'm on a reload. Uh, and in hindsight, I probably probably should have reloaded while I was on just two clips and relocating, but that's always the problem with an autoloader, or with an autoloader. You know, do you reload, or do you save your shots? Do you reload while relocating, or are you going to need those shots? But uh, we're sitting here for the 40 seconds or so, 41 seconds it takes me to reload this clip, which I would have been reloaded much, much quicker if I was driving the Lorraine 40T, but as I say, the size, the size and the camo rating on this tank make a huge difference. So even though it is worse than the Lorraine 40T in almost every single way, I get spotted. Wasn't going to go for shots on the front of the uh, E100. So I know there's a pretty much full health Yak Tiger 88 sitting down below me, and I've got plenty of health. I've got plenty of health, but um, I'm kind of waiting for him to be distracted. I could take a hit, but um, no. No, nope, gotta deal with the poor... Look at the poor gun depression. Six degrees of gun depression is awful on this tank. Uh, come on, you gonna shoot at anyone else? He shot at someone else, so we can move down. And he kills Tanza! Tanza! No, I'm so sorry, dude. I should have taken a hit for you. I was playing, playing far too passively. But I decide to take a hit now. A little bit late. And we can put our final shots into the uh, Yag Tiger And uh, finish up with 5.3k damage. So the next time someone tells you size doesn't matter, tell them to check out the Bat Chatelon 25 TAP because even though this tank is worse in almost every single way than the Lorraine 40T, just the fact it's smaller, harder to hit, smaller target, better camo rating, makes this tank a heck of a lot more fun to play. I've enjoyed this tank far more than I enjoyed playing the Lorraine 40T. Now I didn't hate the Lorraine 40T but I recognized the fact it was just too big, didn't have enough armor um, and you know I probably didn't enjoy playing it as much as a result, but the Batchat 25 TAP, even though it never existed in real life, um, yeah, even though it's worse in every single way, I actually prefer it. So, uh, yeah, stats don't tell you everything, and size does matter. Size definitely does matter, but uh, that was my first ace in the second game of the tank. We picked up a Confederate. I was just testing out the tank, uh, finished up with 5,320 damage done, two, hit, uh, two kills, and 1383 XP overall. Quite happy with that, considering I was only testing the tank out. 27 shots, 25 hits. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the gun is accurate enough as long as you let it aim in fully. Gun handling is slightly, slightly better than it is on the Lorraine 40T or was on the Lorraine 40T, but we only managed to pen 19. So, bounced a heck of a lot of shots, and most of the shots we bounced were on sides of enemy tanks. Uh, this gun seems to just get absorbed by enemy tracks, uh, but happy with the damage. Uh, spotted 4, damaged 10, destroyed 2, did 2,344 assistance damage to go with my own damage, and finished up with 23,000 credits with a premium account, mainly because we had to shoot through almost two full clips of premium ammo, which meant our premium ammo costs were very expensive, and that's probably my only issue with the tank. It just doesn't carry enough ammunition. You do need to have some premium ammo on the tank, and you're going to end up shooting it because you're going to run out of ammo frequently. But uh, 2,000 XP overall on a times three first game of the day um, left me on 8,611 XP. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the tank. I really, really wasn't looking forward to playing it because I looked at the stats and thought, oh, it's awful. It is awful. But I was wrong. I'll admit, I was wrong. Um, I think the Batchet 8P, our 25T AP, it's a far more logical progression from the AMX 1390 onto the uh, Batchet at tier 10. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to play. Same playstyle, if you like playing the AMX 1390, you're probably going to play this tank very well. And I imagine, I imagine the Batch at 25T at tier 10 is going to be exactly the same, but I wouldn't know because even though I've got it unlocked now, I just don't have enough credits or a crew to put into it. But uh, we'll get to, we'll get to the Batch at 25T eventually. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is part of the 5K uh, subspecial week. Uh, so just leaving a comment is going to get you in with a chance of winning a Steam key. Uh, but as I say, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And... Uh, I'll see you next time.